Yeah, you don't. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Lord, he's a hater of the that's all right. He's he, Lord, we're gonna have to give him the ball one time. It. We're gonna let him. Right, we're gonna have to let him do the one, two, three, one time. Lord, he don't don't him. strike me down in the studio <laughs> for lying. So now nah, I got to go ahead and tell the truth. No, nah, I don't like it. Uh, <laughs> no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, we got our man. Uh, the man has forgotten mm. more baseball, yes, yes, than all of us know put together. Yes, and we've said that a few times we introduced yes. because it's true yes you know i mean the guy probably dreams about baseball right. probably, right. you know he sleeps in bullpens yeah you know yeah, yeah. you know how to say <laughs> visions of sugar plums dancing in his head <laughs> right mm-mm, mm-mm, it's mm-mm. visions of home runs and <laughs> right and and and, and strikeouts and, strike and, <laughs> yeah, and walk off and no hitters <laughs> and no hitters dancing in his head <laughs> uh his name is stats and he is our baseball guru he's here to break down Final week, mm-hmm. the Major League Baseball regular season. Give us an update on the pennant race. Stats, what's going on, my man? You know, I appreciate the showering uh, of affection there. <laughs> yes. I do actually have dreams about normal things, a 26-year-old. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good to know, sir. Good to know. <laughs> but I, I do have visions when it comes to this baseball stuff, and some of them do pay off. Hey, I do it tell, happens. sir. Do tell. <laughs> like Otani, I had a feeling he would get a hit. And that happened when I was in Atlanta, but that's not the subject of the week. Okay. We're not talking about Shohei because the Dodgers, they, they got that. That's Rookie right. Rookie studs, really late night, and the really interesting playoff. <laughs> Rookie studs, Paul Skeens, as some of you may listeners may know, he is the pride of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and the Pirates organization. Boy, this guy He's now a 12-game Skeen. winner. He does. The first rookie pitcher since Hideo Nomo in 95. 95 to win this many games. That's a long time. Mm -hmm. But the other studs I've seen over this final month of September, they got to get some recognition too. DJ Hurst of Fayetteville, North Carolina, and the Washington Nationals pitched much better in his final four starts than his first six. Only surrendered a few homers, and despite losing his last start, he got a no decision in that effort also. He had won his two starts prior to that. DJ Hurst mixes in a slider with a very strong fastball topping out at 97 and a changeup in the mid-80s that he typically spots well. Rhett Louder of the Wake Forest Stephen Deacons formerly has now won his first four big league starts after defeating Pittsburgh on Saturday. And he could be a modern-day Kyle Hendricks, who should retire at season's end. <laughs> Notice what I said there. Should. Yeah. Really late should. night. Nat shortstop and stat surrogate C.J. Abrams was, last Friday, the victim of having too much fun in a Chicago casino <laughs> where he didn't reportedly leave until 4 a.m., <laughs> returning <laughs> to his hotel at 6 a.m. from the casino, whether it was a hot hand causing the long stay or general frustration. Not a bad personal year for he and his club. He did not hit any in the game that day, was sent down immediately afterwards. The lesson is that really late nights can cost you really quick. And he struck out every at that too. Really long playoff. <laughs> for a number of years, I've hoped for the playoff before the playoffs. Mm. As I tell my friends, in which teams who are tied for a division or wild card play to determine their fate because they were equally bad all year. Mm-hmm. This year, it looks like I may get this playoff before the playoffs. The Braves and Mets had a double dip rescheduled to Monday because of the hurricane, mm-hmm. which leads right into the wild card series on Tuesday, which features four teams from each league. But if the Kansas City Royals beat up on the Braves this weekend and the Mets handle their business against the Brewers team playing for nothing, Monday could mean nothing. <laughs> However, last year, the Cubs just needed to win one game against the Brewers, and the Brewers weren't playing for anything then either. So let's hope for some intrigue here, y'all. Yeah. And that's all I have for Staff Baseball Report on this week. Oh, the Dodgers only need one, the magic number of one, magic. to clinch the West. Mm-mm. The Padres pushed us as far as they could, but we still have Shohei Otani, and they don't. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, <laughs> so that's the wild card, huh? The Shohei. Oh, most definitely the wild card. It's crazy how much of a difference he makes. But we would have lost that game last year. I'm yeah. being realistic with you. Yeah. would have lost. Hey, I love it. Love it. But well, hey, man, I know you excited. This is like Christmas time for you, and uh, oh yeah, I, I, look, I'm not watching any football while baseball playoffs are on. Like oh. y'all can like 
oh. try to lobby me. <laughs> but like the Super Playoff is so exciting. Yeah. I haven't had a Super Playoff in six years. Yeah. There's not been a tiebreaker game. And there were two of them in 2018, which was absolutely incredible. Those yeah. games were incredible yeah. in 2018. So I'm looking forward to it. Hey, Stats, we appreciate it, man. Thanks, Stats. Because uh, you're the guy that makes sure we get our baseball in, and we know there are some listeners that love to hear about baseball. So, And so we appreciate you, man. Oh, yeah. Go Tigers. That, that's my dark horse to win that World Series. There you Tigers. go. The Tigers. Dark horse. Detroit. Go Tigers. <laughs> All right, man. Take it easy, Stats. Appreciate you, man. Take it easy, y'all. All right. Hey, that's our man Stats, bringing it live, the baseball guru yes, yes, yes. in the house. Uh, hey, uh, we got.